Good morning, y'all. It's a beautiful morning out here at Camp Simper Canine at the Simper Fresh Garden this morning. Yesterday, I shot a video about garden pests. Um, that's essentially all I did last night when I was doing my evening garden checkup was picking off beetles. Also found some squash fine borer eggs. So um, this morning, I'm going to be proactive again and searching for uh, pest damage or just pests in general and eliminating those pests in the garden. And then I'm also going to be getting the everything prepped for a very hot day today. So let's get in the garden, y'all. And it's about 72 degrees this morning. It's right at seven o'clock. And the breeze is blowing. It's just really nice out here. Wish it could feel like this all the time in the garden. Let's see what's going on here. So a couple of days ago, I had planted, I think these are um, some maybe teddy bear sunflowers. I went around the garden and planted some random uh, sunflowers out here to have some extra popping up there toward the end of the harvesting season and the growing season. Look at this. Look at the, the vines on this pumpkin. I need to help him out a little bit. I don't know which side to run them down. I'll figure something out. These melons are just taking over here. Looking good. I love the pumpkin blooms, especially in this sun, morning sun hitting it. We got some pollinators in here today. Looks like an ant. Well, maybe not. Okay. And I am noticing the pests uh, are more out and about in the afternoon. So that's just something to think about. Oh, look here. That is a weed, but it's blooming. It's pretty. Got some more nasturtium blooms back there on that plant. This is a stink bug. No, I don't know what he is. Let me see if I can do a check on him. Okay, it says he's a firefly, which what my first thought was, but you just never know sometimes. This okra's getting tall. I have to grow up past all this squash here. Oh good, I was about to say, I hope something's pollinating these, and there it is. Y'all are just busy this morning. Thank you. Got some weeds growing, and I still haven't figured out what to do with these cantaloupe. I may just go get one of those green fencing pieces like I have for the squash and grow them on that. So another thing to consider when you're checking for pests is to look on the underside of the leaves and look from that angle because that is where bugs like to hang out um, if it's, if it's hot and they don't want to be in the sun or if it's going to rain or if it's about to rain or if it's just rained, but I find them on both sides. Again, not, not a whole lot that I'm seeing immediately this morning. Got my gloves on so I can prep for. Yeah, here's my melon that I broke the other day. I'm just so upset. Thought about just. Oh, and look what I found right here hiding behind there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gotta go. Cucumber beetle. 
Anyway, I don't know if the melon's going to survive now that the tip is broken, but we'll see. Very upsetting. I was so upset with myself. I have had a lot of cucumber beetle um, this year that I've eliminated. don't know if there's some sort of deterrent or natural way to get rid of them by finding... Um, who their enemy is if their enemy is a good garden pest so <laughs> I put this up and I trained one limb to go on it and look at that I mean it's working oh there you are I knew I'd find oh there's two of y'all y'all gotta go lots of buzzing out here Probably gonna have to harvest the squash today because it is getting big. I see some that didn't get pollinated over there. That's okay, we should still have plenty of squash. Cherry tomatoes are just doing fabulous. No new okra blossoms. One of my absolute most favorite things in the garden. Okra blossoms. Look how some of these plants are growing, by the way. I think I've ever had may plant grow like that but it may have something to do with this netting I'm growing them on. Oop, almost walked into a spider web. So I need to get this limb out of here today see any um, food on it and then this one here this plant already has fruit set so I need to make sure to keep it healthy We got some crowding going on over here, so I'm probably not going to replant um, this one. But I am going to trim some of this up here. I did trim the limbs off of, of here um, that I thought were looking kind of damaged. I put some sunflowers here too. Again, just randomly sticking stuff to see what we have going on. And my little dances with Smurfs fruit here. Look at the little already getting the stripes on there. Some of my peppers have some damage going on with the bottom leaves. For now, I'm just going to keep them. I have some jalapenos coming over here. Did not notice those yesterday. This nasturtium is just kind of Oh wild. Blossom's really pretty. Hey 
tomatillos are still the hot spot right now for the pollinators with all these blooms coming out. Probably need to tie some of these plants up. Here's my newest cucumber plant additions. Black Prince. Oh, I didn't realize it had fruit set on it already. Cool. Got a lot of fruit coming on this Roma plant. These are Roma tomatoes here in this in this part of this bed. Um, tied them up really well. These jalapenos look to be doing really great. This one's growing fast. I'm har I harvested one jalapeno. This is my first time trying it. My first time growing it. So we're gonna eat that tonight. Got some leaf curl going on here. That one's been curling for a while. These sun gold tomatoes are doing great. Growing up this trellis here. My pineapple cherry tomatoes finally getting some more flowers. Looking nice. So I did do some trimming on the San Marzano. It is getting really tall and I don't know what else to do to stake it. So I've got to figure out something here. And the cucamelon plant. I mean, what should I do? Run it back down? Will it grow down? I don't know. We'll see, but I am getting some little cuties on here. My eggplant's still looking pretty good. I got one or two coming out here. I had some peppers popping here on my hot salsa peppers. And these are the orange pepperoncini. Nothing coming out on those yet. These are looking awesome. And I have got to get these planted. Finally have a normal looking cucumber. That one's looking pretty good too. There we go. I'm finally getting some more normal looking cucumbers here. And those ones that looked like balls may have been um, the lemon cucumbers. I thought when I'm looking at all the other lemon cucumber varieties, they were all looking yellow pretty early. So, I don't know. Not sure. I don't know what's eating the tomatilla leaves, but I've just kind of, like I haven't seen any pests on them. I see the pest damage and I'm spraying them with neem. But, yeah, I don't know. I probably should have sprayed with me last night, too. Oh, I forgot I had these two Kajori melon. I guess I could go transplant one over where I killed that other one or where I broke the stem off on that other one. I might do that. I'm just going to try to make it over here to check out my pink brandy wine. I only have the one fruit right now. I probably need to trim some of these other leaves off. This one, for whatever reason, just didn't want to make it. But I have nursed it back. And the um Cucamelons have been trying, keep trying to pull it over there, so I may just let them, I may just let them keep pulling it. Okay, 
gotta get the rest of this lettuce harvested too. Potato plants are still looking good. I harvested a candy cane pepper last night. I didn't know how big it needed to get. I need to do a little bit more research. But, um, did harvest that, so we're gonna eat it tonight too. We're gonna roast it with uh, some of our squash. And I'm looking for new caterpillars. I sprinkle with DE Friday night. I may have to do, you know, if I see some poop over here. So I may have to do some uh, BT. I have BT. I'm not seeing any caterpillars though. I'm not seeing any new stuff, but I am seeing some poop that's probably new only because we've had several rain showers, but I'm not seeing any caterpillars. These chocolate sprinkles are bouncing back. I don't know if you remember a couple videos back, they looked like they were dying. So they're coming back. Had a bunch of June bugs on them last, I mean, uh, Japanese beetles last night on them. Got them off. Sweet gypsy pepper coming out down there. So I couldn't come up with an actual answer if that was a pest or not. So I just went ahead and eliminated, but I know this guy is, so he is gone. Bye. And my okra is still doing great over here in the melon bed. So I'm excited about that. And I have watermelons starting to grow up this trellis. Along with these little pumpkins that are still doing great. And over here I planted some sort of, oh, a kakuzi squash. I don't know, it was just random. Well, everything's looking pretty good out here in the garden. I thought about watering today, but I checked a couple of my spots and everything is not super dry with the exception of some of the beans. So some of the beans felt a little dry, but they will be okay because it's supposed to get some storms on Wednesday, so I might go ahead and water in the morning. And it's this time of year that the forecast is gonna change pretty, pretty fast anyway. So fortunately I didn't have a, a ton of pests out here this morning, I had some visible pests. I mean, obviously there's gonna be Plenty that I'm not seeing. So for the most part, everything is looking really great. I will be honest, uh, I'm a little nervous to be leaving the garden. At the end of July, a lot of stuff is going to be ready to harvest. We're going to be gone for a week to visit our family, but I have people that will come out and help take care of everything, make sure it stays watered, make sure the chickens are good. Lots of weeds coming up here. So, that is 
what's going on this morning. Hopefully this time next week we've got things planted in this high tunnel right here. Because I have got plants that I have pulled out of the uh, greenhouse, the little greenhouse we have inside. They've been hardening off for the last two or three weeks almost and they are desperate to get into the ground. But anyway, it's Monday morning, so hope y'all have a wonderful week. See y'all next time. Bye, y'all.